the art of cooking. Fire pit recipes. With berries, we can make bloodberry field bars, and to make them, we come to a berry bushes and we left click to gather some berries. When we have a couple of berries, we come to our town, come to a fire pit. We press E to open the fire pit, and if we uh, left click on the berries, it goes into the production panel of the fire pit. If we now put in some fiber into the fuel part of the fire pit, we can see that it takes 30 seconds to make a bloodberry field bar. Once the timer is over, we can see that we have a bloodberry field bar and that the bloodberry field bar at maximum reduces hunger by 20%, restores health by 15% and restores stamina by 25% and it will provide healing for 120 seconds. To grab it, we simply uh, left click and that will make us take it. We can also take the berries to our cookhouse and towards the oven. If we press E to open the oven and we left click on the berries so it goes into our production panel and we put some fiber in the fuel panel, we can see that the time it takes to make a bloodberry field bar in the oven is only 18 seconds. This does not change anything on the stats of the bloodberry field bar, but it just makes the production quicker. To make small roasted game, we can, for instance, kill a chicken. And when we kill a chicken and we harvest it, we get a common meat. We take that back to our town. We grab some fuel and we come to a fire pit. We put the common meat in the production panel of the fire pit and we put some fuel in the fuel panel. And we can see that it will take 30 seconds to make common meat. Common meat also drops from uh, rabbits, wolves and bears. When the small roasted game is done, we can see that at maximum it will reduce our hunger by 20%, restore our health limit by 20% and restore our stamina by 10% and it will provide healing for 120 seconds. We can also take the common meat to our cookhouse, grab some fuel and go towards the oven. If we press E to open the oven and we put the common meat in and we put in some fuel, we can see that it takes 18 seconds to make small roasted game. This does not change anything on the stats of the small roasted game, it will just make the production quicker. To make roasted game, we need deer meat. So we come to a deer and we kill it with our spear. We walk up to its carcass and we grab everything there. Once we have the deer meat, we go back to our town. We grab some fuel. We come to a fire pit and we put in the deer meat and we put in some fuel. We can see that it takes four minutes to make the roasted game. So we make sure that there is enough fuel inside the fire pit to make that. When the roasted game is ready, we can see that at maximum it will reduce our hunger by 35%, restore our health limit by 35%, and restore our stamina by 10%, and it will provide healing for 360 seconds. To grab it, we simply uh, left click on the icon and that will put it inside our inventory. We can also come to the cookhouse, uh, grab some fuel and go towards the hearth. Press E to open the hearth, uh, right click on the deer meat so it goes into the production panel and put some fuel into the fuel panel. And, and we can see that it takes 1 minute and 15 seconds to make roasted game in the hearth. This does not change anything on the stats of the roasted game. It just makes the production faster. To make roasted hog legs, we need to kill a boar. So if we find a boar and we use our spear to kill it and we stand over its carcass and we harvest it, we can see that we get some boar meat. We go back to our town. We grab some fuel and we come to a fire pit. We press E to open the fire pit. And with the fire pit open, we left click on the boar meat. So it goes into the production panel and we put some fuel into the fuel panel. We can see that it takes four minutes to make a, a roasted hog's leg. So we make sure that we provide enough fuel to roast the hog's leg. When the roasted hog's leg is ready, we can see that at maximum it will reduce our hunger by 35%, restore our health limit by 35% and restore our stamina limit by 10 and it will provide healing for 360 seconds. To grab it, we simply uh, left click on the icon and that will put it inside our inventory. We can also come to the cookhouse, uh, grab some fuel, 
and come to the hearth, press E to open the hearth and put the boar meat in the production panel of the hearth, put in some fuel and we can see that it takes 1 minute and 20 seconds to make a roasted hog's leg. This will not change any of its stats, it will just make the production faster. To grab it, we simply uh, left click on the icon and that will put it inside our inventory. Hearth recipes. To make pemmican, we need two berries and one common meat. So we go to berry bushes and we pick some berry bushes and we hunt for, for instance, a rabbit, which we can see over there. We equip our spear and we try to kill the rabbit. We stand over its carcass and we grab its common meat and we go back to our town. We come to our cookhouse, we grab some fuel and we go to our hearth. We press E to open the hearth and we put in the common meat and the berries and we put in some fuel and when we do we can see that it will take 45 seconds to make pemmican. When the pemmican is done we can see that at maximum it will reduce our hunger by 25%, restore our health limit by 25% and restore our stamina limit by 20. It will also provide healing for 180 seconds. To grab it, we simply uh, left click on the icon and that will put it inside our inventory. To make boiled cabbages, we need cabbages first. So if we equip our scythe and we come to our tilt field that has full grown cabbages on it, we can simply uh, left click and that will start harvesting harvesting some cabbages. When we have two cabbages, we come to the well over here and grab one bucket of water. And with those ingredients on us, we grab some fuel and then we come to our cookhouse and we go towards the hearth. We press E to open the hearth and we put in the water bucket and two cabbages. We can see that we have no fuel, so we left click on our branches. So we provide fuel and we can see that in 30 seconds, we will make boiled cabbages. When the boiled cabbages are done, we can see them in the production panel and we can see that at maximum it will reduce hunger by 30%, restore health by 25%, restore stamina by 35 and provide healing for 360 seconds. To grab it, we simply uh, left click on the icon and that will put it inside our inventory. To make boiled eggs, we need uh, two chicken eggs so we come to the hen house and we grab uh, two eggs. We grab some fuel. We come to the well and grab a bucket of water. And with the bucket of water, we come to our cook house. And inside our cook house, we go to the hearth. We press E to open the hearth and we put in the chicken eggs by right clicking on them. And we click on the water bucket. We can then put in some fuel and we can see that in 30 seconds, our eggs will be boiled. When the timer is up, we can see that we have the boiled eggs and we can also see that the boiled eggs will reduce hunger by a maximum of 25%, restore health by 15%, restore stamina by a maximum of 20% and will provide healing for 180 seconds. To grab it, we simply uh, left click on it and that will take it into our inventory. Oven recipes. To make the plain alamat, we need two eggs. We grab some eggs from the hen house. So we press E to open the hen house, right click on the two eggs. So we have two eggs on us. With the eggs, we run to our cookhouse and we grab some fuel. We come to the oven inside the cookhouse, press E to open up the oven. We right click on the chicken eggs. So they go into the production tab and we uh, left click on one of the branches so that we have fuel in the fire part. We can see that in 30 seconds, we will create a plain element. Now that the timer ran out, we can see that we have the finished plain element and that the plain element element at maximum reduces hunger by 25%, restores health by 20%, restores stamina by 15% and provides healing for 180 seconds. To grab it, as usual, we simply uh, left click on it and that will put it into our inventory. To make grilled whitefish, we obviously need some fish and to get some fish, we need a fishing pole. We take our fishing pole towards a, a body of water. 
when we are near the water, we can find some fishing spots by the concentric circles in the water. We uh, right click to aim our fishing pole. And when we are over the fishing spot, we can see that our aim turns from yellow to white. We uh, left click to throw out our hook. The game will tell us when the fish is hooked and we uh, left click to pull in our hook and we now call it a fish. As we can see, if we press tap, we come to our cook house, we grab some fuel and we come to our oven. We press E to open the oven and we uh, left click on the fish. So it goes into the production panel of the oven. We uh, left click on the branches. So we provide some fuel for the oven and we can see that we will produce a grilled white fish in one minute. When the grilled white fish is done, we can see that at maximum it will reduce hunger by 30%, restore health by 30%, restore stamina by 30%, and provide healing for 360 seconds. To grab it, we simply uh, left click on the icon and that will put it inside our inventory. To make trencher bread, we need a two flour and to make flour, we equip our scythe and we come to our farm field with the full grown wheat. We uh, left click to harvest two wheat sheaves. When we have two wheat sheaves, we take those to our mill. We press E to open the mill and we uh, right click on the wheat sheaves so they go into the inventory of the mill and we uh, click on the flower icon twice. We can see that for each flower, we need 45 seconds. When the flour is ready, it goes into the inventory of the mill on the right side. We can simply right click on the flour and that will put it inside our inventory. We come to our cookhouse and we grab some fuel. We also need a bucket of water. So we come to the well, we press E to open the well. We click on the buckets in the well and that will equip one of the buckets into our own inventory. We come into our cookhouse, we go to the oven. We press E to open the oven. We put in the water and the flour and we put in some fuel. We can see that it takes one minute and 30 seconds to make the trencher bread. When the trencher bread is ready, we can see that at maximum it will reduce our hunger by 30%, restore 25% of our health limit and 35% of our stamina limit, and it will provide healing for 360 seconds. To grab it, we simply uh, left click on the icon and that will put it inside our inventory. To make lost bread, we need a trencher bread. So we can come to our banquet table and grab one trencher bread and we need a chicken egg. So we come to our hen house, press E to open the hen house and we grab one chicken egg. We come to our cook house and we grab some fuel. We come to the oven, we press E to open the oven. We put in the trencher bread and the chicken egg and we put in some fuel and we can see that it takes 45 seconds to make lost bread. When the lost bread is ready, we can see that at maximum, it will reduce our hunger by 32%, restore 25% of our health limit and 25% of our stamina limit, and it will provide healing for 240 seconds. To grab the lost bread, we simply left click on the icon and that will put it inside our inventory. To make egg tarte, we need two chicken eggs. So we come to our hen house. We press E to open the hen house and we click twice on the egg. So we grab two eggs. We also need a one flour. To get flour, we need to harvest some wheat. So we equip our scythe. We go to our field with wheat and we uh, left click and that will harvest one wheat sheaf. We take the wheat sheaf to our mill. We press E to open the mill and we put one wheat sheaf in. We go to the production panel and we click the uh, flour button. And we can see that it will take 45 seconds to make some flour. When the flour is ready, it will go in the right side of the inventory of the mill and we can uh, left click in it and that will put it into our inventory. And lastly, we need a cabbage. So we equip our scythe again and we come to our field with fully grown cabbages. We uh, left click once and we farm one cabbage as we can see in our inventory. We take these ingredients to our cookhouse. We grab some fuel. We come to our oven and we press E to open the oven. We put in the eggs, the flour and the cabbage and we put in some fuel. We can see that it takes one minute and 30 seconds to make the egg tarte.
When the egg tarte is ready, we can see that at maximum it will reduce hunger by 35%, restore our health limit by 30%, and restore our stamina lim limit by 32%. It will also provide healing for 360 seconds. To grab it, we simply uh, left click on the icon and that will put it inside our inventory. To make water pie, we need two deer meat or two boar meat, so we can kill two deer and harvest their carcasses for their meat. Once we have the deer meat, we come back to our town and we go to our cookhouse to store our deer meat. We can store the deer meat either in a meat rack if we have it or in the oven by simply putting it in the oven. We also need two flour, so we come to our mill and we press E to open the mill. We grab two flour and lastly we need two boiled cabbages. So we come to our cookhouse, we grab some fuel, we come to our banquet table, press E to open it, and we grab two boiled cabbage. We come to the oven, put in the flour and the boiled cabbage, and we put in some fuel, and we can see that it will take two minutes to make water pie. When the water pie is ready, we can see that at maximum it will reduce our hunger by 32%, restore our health limit by 32 and our stamina limit by 32%, and it will provide healing for 360 seconds. To grab the water pie, we can simply uh, left click on the icon and that will put it inside our inventory. We come to our cookhouse, we grab some fuel, we type unstuck because I got myself stuck. There we go.